right, here we go. This is me in the Black Gi. This is my second uh, match I've ever had. Second competition, I only had one the first time. Right off the bat there, uh, expert wipe up move here, pulling right to side mount. If you've ever pulled right into side, uh, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. Uh, this match was incredibly frustrating to me. One of my weaknesses that I've been aware of for a long time is getting out of, you know, any pin, um, side control, mount, which kind of comes with the territory of being kind of new. But this really showed uh, where the hole in my game was. <clears throat> so this guy was pretty strong and he was pretty fast. Um, I was doing not a good job of working from half here. Um, I didn't, to be honest, I didn't know what to do from there um, other than just hold on to the leg to try and prevent the pass. Um, his, his hands, he was really gripping super hard on my lapel or collar. Um, and I was kind of triaging that as the most important thing. Um, but I should have just chilled out more and take a step back. But this is why you can beat. Turn to your knees, I've wanted to compete a bunch as a white belt, as a relative beginner, um, to just try and get that nervousness gone. So when I am feeling like I'm halfway decent, I'm not. I should be looking at the camera. Um, I'm not scared of competing. In. But yeah, so he passes my guard here <clears throat> with my bad guard retention. And I wish I could tell you that I make some miraculous change. This is kind of where the commentary will go flat because he holds this position until the very final few seconds and I get a, I get a leg in and the timer goes off. So, if you're watching this and you're a beginner or competing for the first time, this is a real strategy from some people. Just to hold, get, get the points and uh, hold you down. Because there's folks like me who don't have very good escapes. And so you'll win some matches. Maybe more than some. Maybe quite a few. All right, Lewis, he's looking tired. Keep working. I just remember his grips being so tight and I could tell he was yep. turn it, turn it. squeezing with every ounce of energy Good that job, he man. had and I was kind of honestly I remember thinking there's no way he can sustain this and so Get if I can just hook. ride this out and not get choked like he'll be gassed and then I can you know the final minute make my escape and uh, take advantage of that but I was wrong he was fueled by pure um, I don't know I don't know what he was fueled by Yeah, enjoy this. I'll probably shut up and just let the video play. Turn in, Lewis. This way, this way. This match was in uh, the end of May. This was a, a tap cancer out event in the Dallas Fort Worth area in 2022. It is August 8th when I'm recording this. So breathe. I feel like my ability to have gotten Good out of this in. has improved since then. I hope it has. And it's interesting to watch my choice of All right, Lewis, he's leg movements tired. and um, you know what I was doing here. One minute left. I wish yep, I could yep, go yep. back. But yeah, I just kept trying to twist into him um, and get a leg in. He had a super strong grip across kind of across collar <clears throat> smash there uh, pinning that opposite shoulder down really well and it made it really hard to do anything so got a hand it to this guy here he had something in mind and he stuck with it yeah keep that knee and elbow close was able to fight off that mountain. That was cool. I'm able to get a leg through here. Good, and good. Get an underhook. That is it. Swing your underhook, Lewis. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the match. Leave a comment below um, if you have any thing to say. Hasta la vista.